Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning. In physics, we study small things or big things. Both, right? So for that, we've got some SI prefixes so that we can handle big things as well as small things. SI prefixes. Let's start with 10 to the power 18. Quite big, right? 10 to the power 18 is called exa. 10 to the power 15 is called peta. 12 is tera. 9 is giga. Now, you may wonder how, remember, how I remember all these names. Now, I will teach you a trick which no teacher will teach you, no book will have. Because I have devised the trick myself. Right? How to remember these names for the rest of your life? This 18, you can see an X here, right? The number 8, you can see an X. That should remind you of X. 5, you know, is penta, right? In chemistry, you have got pentavalent and things like that. 5, pentagon in mass. So, 5 reminds you of penta. P should remind you of peta. Right? 12 starts with T, right? Number 12 starts with T. Tera also starts with T. 9 looks like G. Right? Number 9 looks like G almost, right? So that should remind us of Giga. So now we can remember it for the rest of our life. 18, I see X here, XA. 15, 5 will remind me of Penta, so Peta. 12 starts with T, so Tera. 9 looks like G, so Giga. Right? Easy. 10 to the power 6 is called Mega. That I think you can remember, right? 10 to the power 3 is more common, Kilo. 2, Hecto, you might have learned in school, all these things. 1, Deca. Right? Deca. 10 to the power minus 1, now you go towards the smaller size, right? 10 to the power minus 1 is deci. Minus 2 centi. Centimeter you got in your scale, right? Centi. Minus 3 milli. Right? Millimeter also got in your scale. Then you go to micro. Minus 6 micro. Right? Microelectronics is a branch of engineering. Right? Electronics. Micro, you should know. It is minus 6. Minus 9, 9 starts with N. That should remind us of nano, nano car. Right? Minus 9, N, nano. 12. Minus 12 is called pico. Minus 15, F, should remind us of femto. 15 starts with F. Femto also starts with F. Minus 80, very, very small, that we call it atom. Right? Size of the nucleus is measured in femtometer. Wavelength of light is measured in nanometer. Right? Size of an atom, we can measure in nanometer, we can measure in angstrom. Angstrom is not SI, angstrom is Angstrom is 10 to the power minus 10 meter. Okay, used, because convenient to use this sometimes, but is not SI. So, these are the SI prefixes. As we learn SI, we must learn certain rules. There are four rules in SI. First one, full name of units, named after a person are not written such that the first alphabet is a capital letter. Full name of units named after a person do not start with a capital letter. 
When we write unit of force, we write Newton like this. We don't write Newton, that is the name of the scientist, not like this, you write like that. Ampere, unit of current, you write like this, not like this. So, full name of units, name after a person, do not start with a capital letter. Symbols of units, named after a person, start with a capital letter. All are in capitals in most cases, only when one alphabet is there, there will be capital. If a force we write as N, Newton. Ampere, capital A. Hertz, H, Z. Right? So, symbols start with a capital letter, full name does not start with a capital letter. Third rule, symbols are not followed by full stop. In English, we learn whenever writing short form, initials, write a dot after that, put a dot after that. But here for symbols, we don't put a dot. We don't write 5 kg and put a dot here to denote that this is short form. This is not there. So, symbols are not followed by full stop. And the last rule, symbols are not written in plural form. We don't write 5 kgs. That is wrong. We just write 5 kg. Okay, in fact, this can mean something else, kg into seconds. So, symbols are not written in plural form. So, there are four rules in SI. Full name of units. Named after the person, do not start with a capital letter. Symbols are in capitals if they have got two alphabets and the first alphabet is capital. Symbols are not followed by full stop. And the last rule, symbols are not written in plural form. These are the rules of SI. Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning.